Welcome everybody to a look at another brand new release from Eureka and is 1983's Valley Girl. So this is directed by Martha Coolidge, who I've not seen anything else from before. It's a teen romantic comedy, clocking in at 99 minutes long, and it only had a budget of $350,000, and yet it returned in America alone at $17.3 million, uh, so a huge hit for a, a film of its type. And uh, yeah, stars Nicolas Cage, who was also in the lights of Raising Arizona, Wild at Heart, Face Off and Red Rock West as well as Deborah Foreman, who was in the horror film Waxwork, alongside um, the guy out of um, Gremlins. His name's completely passed me by and by now, right now, but yeah, it stars him as well. Uh, also stars uh, Michael Bowen, who was in Kill Bill, Jackie Brown, Night of the Comet, and Forbidden, uh, uh, Forbidden World, as well as Frederick Forrest, who was in such classics as Apocalypse Now, The Conversation, as well as Took the Man in His Dream, It Lives Again, and The Don is Dead. And uh, yeah, this is about Julie, who is a girl from the valley who meets Randy, a punk from the city. They are from different worlds and find love. Somehow they need to stay together in spite of her trendy, shallow friends. And so, uh, yeah, this isn't typically the kind of film I would usually seek out, but knowing the cast from other films that I have enjoyed and the soundtrack being right up my street, I decided to give this a shot. And to, be, to my surprise, this was equally both entertaining and charming, while also being predominantly engrossing. The two leads are also great together, they've got really good chemistry, uh, the supporting cast is good, the pacing is on point, the soundtrack is absolutely excellent, you've got the likes of Sparks, The Psychedelic Furs, Modern English, um, uh, Josie Cotton, um, The Plimsolls, so you've got a really rather nice variety of like early 80s new wave kind of music which is all, always nice to see. It is also well shot, and though not heavy on thematic depth, it still still have a worthwhile message behind it in being don't care about how you look, don't care about what you wear, just or don't care about what your your friends necessarily think about who you love, just love who you want to love. And uh, yeah, that's a really rather nice worthwhile message as far as I'm concerned. So uh, yeah, this is one of Eureka's more um, you know uh, hefty kind of single film releases. It's not just a single disc or, you know, well, it is a single disc, but it's not just a single case. We have a lot of extras going for it as well on the disc and physically as well. So that's the other kind of artwork you can have for it. No other, no reversible artwork though with this one. Just the disc itself with an image from the film on the back with Nicolas Cage and Deborah Foreman, which is all nicely done. And yeah, you also get the nice hard box that I've already shown, which yeah is nicely done. Uh, nothing on the back because the um, the J card here is removable, but that has all the information on it. But so does the uh, the the case itself. So uh, yeah, in terms of the the uh, extras on the disc, well, it's a uh, 1080p presentation on Blu-ray from a 4K scan of the original negatives. You've got optional English subtitles, you've got new audio commentary with Mayor Montana's Smirk Smuckler, who is author of Liberating Hollywood Women Directors and the Feminist Reform of 1970s American Cinema, and Maria uh, Maria San Filipino, Filippo even, uh, who is editor of After Happily Ever After, Romantic Comedy in the Post-Romantic Age. You've also got audio commentary with director Martha Coolidge. You've got a new interview with uh, Deborah Foreman, a new interview with Colleen Clamp, uh, Camp, uh, you got Valley Girl in Conversation, a 2018 interview with director Martha Coolidge and actress E.G. Daly and Heidi Holliker. You've also got Martha Coolidge and Nicolas Cage on Valley Girl. A huge selection of archival interviews with a cast and crew totaling and get this over three hours. So that's a huge amount of uh, additional extras on top of all the other stuff I've already mentioned. As well as totally 20 totally tubular years later, 2003 feature the um and then you've also got the music of Valley Girl, a featurette, and music videos of the songs in the film, as well as the storyboard comparisons and the original theatrical trailer. And on top of all of that, you get a really rather nice booklet to go with it as well. Which inside has cast and crew alongside images from the film, as well as a glossary of Valley Girl talk and... Also, second time lucky Nicholas Cage, Martha Coolidge, and Valley Girl by Alexandra Heller Nicholas. You've also got, and there's swearing in this, so if you don't like that, then uh, avert your ears. But it's called It's Your Fucking Friends, Right, Valley Girl, Conformity, and the Teen Movie in the 1980s by Craig Ian Mann. 
well, it's got viewing notes and the Blu-ray credits as well. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, glossary of Valley Girl Talk because there are a lot of slang words that are used in this, which were quite new to cinema because the Valley Girl fad really only came to light in the year prior due to a uh, Frank Zappa song, uh, of, any, of all things. So, yeah. Awesome means great, obviously. Uh, but yeah, bag your face means shut up. Barf, gross me out means don't make me sick. Bitching means cool. Dork means uncool person. For sure means really. Freak me out, expression of surprise. Fresh, new and cool. Gag me with a spoon, disgusting. <laughs> That's a really funny one. Um, geek, undesirable. Gnarly, great. Grody, unspeakably awful. Kiss my tuna, expression of superiority. That's one I've really never heard of before. Pukoid, someone who makes you feel sick. Totally equals also absolutely. Tubular means very good, and zoo means ugly, which is again is something I've never heard of being used as a slang term. But yeah, real eye opener in terms of the yeah, whole kind of Valley Girl fad. Like I said, from the early eighties. Not sure how that long that fad actually you know lasted for, but yeah, still the four uh, K restoration looks really really nice. Um, the presentation in terms of the physical form really looks good as well. Got a whole host of extras that I'll eventually get uh, a deep dive into, but you know, just some of it is only three is a total of three hours long. Never mind everything else, which no doubt is going to come up to like at least four, maybe even five hours long. So, uh, yeah. But as per usual, Eureka do nail it with their wealth of extras that they put on the disc, and the physical extras are nice as well. So, uh, yeah. Might not be a typical film to go for in terms of you know being a teen romantic comedy, but trust me, it. It's a little bit more to it than just those genres and to, certainly in terms of the age of the uh, stars so uh, yeah well worth watching if you have seen it before though i'd like to hear your thoughts on it but nonetheless thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye